You always do this. What? Just when I think you're a complete rat, you say something nice and sweet. You're my sister. I love you. And I love you too. It's just sometimes I really, really don't like you. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. It's just really hard. Being a Chandler? Yeah. It's not an easy name to live up to. You think we'd have it figured out by now? <laughs> Maybe when we stop fighting who we are. Because this house, this family, the company, that is our legacy. It's in our blood and we have to accept that. We have to accept who we are and what we have to fight for. You and me together, kid. I thought she moved out. There's an explanation for this. The explanation this. is, I was right again. You two make me sick. Colby. Colby? Colby wasn't able to see Scott. The feds already shipped him off. How'd she take it? Not great, but I calmed her down and took her home. Better get over there. Uh, what a, um, she told me to tell you not to worry. She'll call you later. She, she told you to tell me? <laughs> What's the matter with that? Nothing. I just... She's going through a lot of stuff right now, and I want to be there for her like she was there for me. I wouldn't worry too much about Chloe. That girl can hold her own with anybody. <laughs> so, Bianca and I finally... Convince Betty to fight for herself. Well, I'm not surprised. My wife can be very convincing. <laughs> well, you know, it wasn't that easy. You know, I'm, I'm starting to find uh, new things every day about how to cope with this. Yeah. Well, you are learning. And you're still helping people. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. You know, I was so scared that losing my sight might uh, limit my ability to do that. But I'm just finding different ways to help. Okay. And you know what? It what? feels wonderful. <laughs> it's my girl. What's wrong? Baby, what's wrong? No, 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 no. It, it, I, I, I think I felt something. I, I felt our baby move. I'm thinking about changing things up a little bit with my hair. Finally going after the full hawk? I'm serious, babe. I, I want to stay current. You know, in this business, one day you're in and then the next day you're Don't out. let the pressure get to you. Look, please don't take this the wrong way, babe. You know that I love you and I love spending all my time with you. It's just that... But it's not enough. I never said that. Look, I understand that modeling's important to you. I do. But you are beautiful just the way you are. Don't look at this as if it's something bad. Life is great. I'm great. I feel great. I mean, Frankie, looking back, I was living on the streets selling myself, being physically abused. That's the hell that I came from. But you're not in that place anymore. No, I'm not. Thanks to you. Thanks to you that I'm a new woman in a new life. I'm finally proud of myself, and I'm so proud of everything that I'm accomplishing. It's about getting a second chance. It's about where I came from and now where I can go. I need to push this to see how far I can get. And I hope that you understand that. Looks like I got an ambitious wife on my hands. Can you handle it? Yeah, I can handle it. Oh. It's a hospital. I should take this, but you are beautiful. You got that? Yes, sir. What happened? I don't get it. Is it me? Like, am I the crazy one? Definitely not. It's not just Scott, though. It's JR. I mean, how many times can one family implode? What did JR do? Annie. Oh, well, actually, no. He's about to do her. But first he gives me this Chandler family value speech, tells me we, we have to stand together. It's us against the world. And then guess who slinks back in? 
any. Why does this keep on happening? It's not just a guy thing. It's something more than that because if Scott was stealing business secrets from a dead man, then... You'd be surprised what people who are capable of. Well, you don't understand, Jer. My cousin is a really, really good guy. He wouldn't do something like that. My uncle Stuart, he even made him this hat that said, one of the good guys. <laughs> it's a little weird. Well, in a sweet way, definitely not a fashion statement, <laughs> way, but... I just don't understand why Scott would commit a crime like that. Maybe he really changed when his dad died. I mean, losing your father, that must make your world crazy, right? Hey, don't ask me. But your dad died. You're younger. But how did that yeah, affect this, you? This isn't about me, though. Asher, just please help me understand why Scott would keep something so huge a secret. It happens all the time. Harsh stuff goes down. You know, people don't slap it on a t-shirt or a hat. But if he had told me, maybe I could have helped him. Do you really not get why he wouldn't tell you? Some things you just can't let out. It hurts too much. But he did hold it in. And now his life is ruined. Hey. Why didn't you stay upstairs until I came and got you? Uh, I... What happened at the bar? Nothing happened. I'm writing that bartender and those yahoos a check to keep their mouth shut. I just... I, I don't want Emma finding out. Thank God she's at a sleepover. Yeah. Well, no one will know. Um, <clears throat> I'll get dressed and leave. No, you won't. Hey, and it's your daddy. Time to wake up. Go to work. Come on now. No, no, like... no. no. Keep, keep your hand there. What do you feel like? Flutters. Oh, I I missed it. Oh, they'll come back. So, was, were the flutters like girly flutters or manly flutters? <laughs> or can't, baby? Can't or, you, you really, know. You can't really tell that. <laughs> Well, I could tell the baby had dimples from the sonogram. <laughs> I already tell you, you can't see dimples on a sonogram. I think I saw something else, too. Well, whatever you think you saw. I think I saw a teeny tiny little stethoscope in there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, what if it was teeny tiny handcuffs for the next little chief of police in here? What? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> You hear that in there, little baby? Mama thinks you got handcuffs in the belly. Hello? Hello, little Dr. Hubbard. Hello, little Jeep. <laughs> I'm through with all of them. I can't do this anymore. What happened? Scott's in jail. And Annie is now back in JR's bed. And I'm supposed to be, like, the cheerleader of the family, keeping everything together, but... I can't do it. I can't. I just can't do this anymore. Hey, just don't forget. You didn't screw up. They did. But I bet you're the only one getting all twisted up about it. <laughs> what do you know about her family, man? Well, I know that you can't fix other people, family or otherwise. Just remember, you need to... Stay strong and be better than them. So you were listening. Good. Hey, I got my shift covered. Want to get out of here? Yeah, please. Let's go. Why won't you just leave me alone? I drove you here. Your car's still a confusion. You're not sober enough to drive. I'll take a cab. And then where will you go? I, I will figure something out. Oh, yeah? This time of night, half drunk? You can stay. No. Well, I have a ton of guest rooms here just for tonight. It's too close. The gatehouse, then. I, I have told you time and time again, I don't need you taking care of me. Actually, tonight you do. Nothing. 
Thank you.